uh, to our parishioners in South Africa, Happy Heritage Day. I know that we represent more than South Africa, but I ask the dioceses and countries outside South Africa to please join us as we celebrate um, a Heritage Day. My name is Archbishop Tabo Makhoba from Bishop's Court, and I'm glad to say today is the end uh, of our Provincial Standing Committee. Uh, probably at, uh, at lunchtime we will be done to allow uh, people to celebrate uh, Heritage Day. I am wearing uh, a shirt uh, that I got uh, from Ghana just to also underscore the fact that uh, we belong and when we celebrate uh, Heritage Day, we celebrate who we are before we were subdivided into race, culture, and ethnicity. We celebrate the fact that uh, inherent in each one of us, uh, there is uh, the God uh, factor, there is the, the divine, and that we are built for dignity and for respect. And so the format today slightly changes. Um, as we, we note uh, this, uh, this day, as we really, its nearness uh, to the biblical stories is that Pentecost day when people could speak in all sorts of tongues. And so today it is South Africans celebrating diversity, celebrating unity within uh, diversity, uh, celebrating our gift of language, our gift of religion, celebrating our gift of the different sex, uh, sexes, celebrating young, old age, the mountains, uh, the rivers uh, that characterize where we come from, celebrating the fact that there was a stage in this country uh, before we were divided by the apartheid laws, before we were divided by colonial boundaries, when we, we worshipped, when we sang together. And so today, uh, if you challenge me to sing on Heritage Day, uh, probably the first things that will come to mind are the choruses and the hymns uh, that we sing uh, within the Anglican Church, uh, having been a child of this church for a very long time. And, uh, and some of the, probably the doi doi uh, hymns that we sang when I was a student, and some of the local choruses uh, that uh, uh, we continue to, to sing. But today, may it really be a joyful day. Um, we have challenges, but today I call on each one of you to sing your favorite sing, uh, song, to dance your, your favorite movement, uh, to play a note on the piano, to say thank God that uh, in the midst of the coronavirus, in the midst of the pandemic, uh, we can still come together and share our voices, share our cultures, and share our uniqueness, and say, thank you, Lord, that we are alive. And so within the Anglican Church now, let us uh, listen to some, a portion of Psalm 90 together. <laughs>
listen to the good news proclaimed in the gospel according to Saint Luke, the ninth chapter, beginning from the seventh verse. Now Herod the ruler heard about all that had taken place, and he was perplexed because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the ancient prophets had arisen. Herod said, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he tried to see him. And so I weave in the tradition, the heritage that we receive from our sacred text and pray that wherever we are today and beyond, we may constantly ask, who is this that I hear about? And after posing that question, let us try and see Jesus in ourselves, in our activities, Jesus transforming the cultural barriers that have been imposed on us, Jesus in culture, and Jesus above culture. So happy Heritage Day. So we're going to end today's uh, reflections by playing verses from different traditions of the Anglican Church from those that dance and say hallelujah, just a little snippet, and from those that sing as if the chests are sore, and from those that follow melody, and from those that will just say, yes, so long, and then put from law, and the whole church catches uh, fire, and from those that will just follow the rhythm of quiet and silence and hear God speak through the wind and the fire and the quiet. Happy Heritage Day.